everybody, Rich here uh, with Prep U, and uh, it is time for another stove uh, video. And uh, this one, as the title uh, says, it is a must-have stove. Um, it's nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Uh, doesn't have any bells or whistles or anything like that. Um, it's just a good backup stove to the stove that you like. I mean, whether you like a, a Primus stove or you like a Coleman stove or if you like a Whisper Light or if you like a Jet Boil or a BioLite. I mean, those are all good stoves and they all have their purpose and stuff like that. But things break. So here on Prep Review, we always tell you that you need to make sure that you are prepared for everything and that's why these two options I'm going to show you are pretty neat. Uh, they're nice to have, they don't take up much room, uh, you can keep a, a whole bunch of these uh, in your uh, prep room, you can keep a couple in, in a backpack, uh, one of each or one or the other, it's up to you. Uh, they're great to take with you when you're hiking, backpacking, going fishing or whatever in addition to a backup to your main stove, whatever stove that you like. So let's get into this. I'm also gonna show you a couple other things that uh, you might wanna have, well, at least one thing that you might wanna have, we've talked about before. So let me move the uh, camera down and you can take a look at our fancy dancy work area here, you know, right um, by the fire pit. All right, here we go. All right, there's our fancy, dancy, fancy, fancy, fancy work area. All right, let's bring that up just a little bit. All right, so what we're talking about here, put that off. Well, we'll just show you this one. This is just Sterno. That's all it is, you know, and it produces six hours of heat. Uh, mostly used if you've ever gone to a banquet, if you've ever gone to, or, you know, had uh, catered or gone to you know a, a warehouse club and bought you know large uh, beef and chicken and stuff like that you want to keep it warm that's all this is but you can also you know use it to cook over I mean it in, in a pinch there's there's no reason it's pretty easy pretty simple just got a little wick there and uh, it's gonna it'll light. Uh, no reason for me to light it here, but um, you can see this one is safe heat, six hour chaffing fuel, all right? And it's the uh, Baker's and Chef's brand. It doesn't matter, you know, what you get. I've got, matter of fact, I've got a, a couple uh, Home De Depot buckets full of this stuff. So it's always nice to have. But what we're gonna concentrate on, the stove we're gonna concentrate now is the folding stove with fuel it's really neat you can see how easy it is you don't have to keep it in the bag you can take it out of the bag box sorry it's a box but this is what it is it's a cute little stove it opens up like that uh, it's got fuel fuel cells here that you just light we're gonna light one up just to uh, show you what's going on um, directions are pretty easy not anything crazy open stove the desired position as you can see it's got different positional locks on there so you've got a smaller pot if it's on really nice if you got a larger one it opens up even more so you can see how easy it is and it's got little stops along the way that you just lock it in and you're good all right so you just do that you un unwrap the fuel cells fuel cubes and remove the desired number of cubes store unused fuel fuel, fuel, fuel cubes wow in a plastic bag all right uh, that's all you got to do uh, place one or two fuel cubes in center of stove base, ignite fuel cubes with match or lighter, carefully 
Uh, place cook pot on top of stove. Do not cook food directly over flame. Well, probably because what this off gases. You probably don't, probably leaves the taste. Um, as always, do not leave stove unattended while burning. Keep children and pets away. Stove will be very hot during and after use. Allow fuel cubes to burn out. Don't save them. Don't put them out. Just let them burn out. So we're going to use one uh, fuel cube on here. And something that I always keep with me, obviously, and you should always keep on you at all times is a knife kind of important all right there's your little fuel cube I'm gonna set it right there in the middle this stuff right off the bat we're just gonna put right in here back in the plastic back in some plastic so it's airtight it's not gonna off gas you're not gonna lose and of course this one I when I did it I made a huge mess so we'll just light it using these handy dandy matches See how well it lights, I don't know. I've never tried this before. Okay, there's one match. Discovery time, right? I'm not sure where the best place is to light these. Or if there's a good spot to light these, if it makes a difference. I don't know, we, uh, like with a lot of things, we just kind of learn as we go along here. Just lighting these cubes. Wants to light. There we go. All right, I figured it out. You gotta put it on the corner. All right, so you have a decent, pretty decent little flame there. And I'm sure as it warms up, it's gonna move across the surface. That's already pretty good. And of course, I didn't put these down where our pot would go in the beginning. All right, so, you know, it's, it's definitely not a jet boil situation. It's not gonna be quick, uh, whisper light or whatever. Uh, but you can put the pot on there. And uh, if you've seen our other videos about prepping and stoves and stuff like that, you know why this is here. Okay, this is just aluminum foil. Um, because depending on where you're at, you may have a wind issue. And with this, you can make yourself a little wind stop. Okay? And that's going to stop the wind from disrupting your flame, moving it off to the side, or having a hard time to get something lit. Um, but this is why, you know, I like this, the stove, you can see, let's get this, you can see it's really burning now. You can see how well that's burning. Did you see it? There you go. And that's one fuel cube. And we'll just keep this on here. And, uh, you know, so, like I said, it's 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 good to have a backup uh, whenever you're uh, whenever you're doing stuff. Uh, it's really important, and this is one of them. This is UST, I think it is. Oh, Ultimate Survival Technologies out of Jacksonville, Florida. It's USTBrands.com. So there's that. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. You can kind of get the website on ustbrands.com. I got it on Amazon. It was not very expensive at all. You can buy other fuel cells uh, for it. If you need extras, you get you get eight, okay? And when I bought it, I bought several stoves because um, I have it in uh, just downstairs in general. I have, uh, I don't know if you can see the flame going back and forth, but there's a lot of flame on there. That's pretty cool. Same thing, you know, you'll get a, a smaller flame, a centralized flame with the sterno, 
but actually the wind has stopped all of a sudden, which is nice. So we're just gonna let that burn a little bit. And we're already getting bubbles at the bottom of the pot, which is nice. So we're just probably just gonna let this burn. I'm not gonna keep you bored, you know, watching this the whole time that I'm here. You know, it's kind of a waste of your time and my time. Uh, but safe to say, definitely got bubbles. Everything's working really good. So would you use this as your main stove? I, you know, I don't know. Probably not. Just because how fast some of the other stoves work and like with, you know, and I'm not pushing, I don't, I don't get sponsors from some of these guys, but like with uh, jet boil, you can, you know, you've got the, uh, the containers, you've got pots, you've got all kinds of stuff that go with it. And I know I owe you a video at REI and um, Cabela's or Bass Pro, what's the difference? Uh, so we'll get out there and show stuff that is available. But there you go. That is the folding stove with fuel. Sterno, just an idea. Back of your mind, backups to the backups to the backups. And that's what we need as preppers because we know that nothing lasts forever. And if it's for a long time, you may run out of fuel um, from your, uh, your jet boil or your Primus or your Coleman or whatever. Make sure you stock up on that stuff. It doesn't go bad. So why bother? And uh, last time I was at Cabela's, they had the jet boil brand of uh, fuel on sale really good prices so that's it uh, that's all we're going to talk about um, subscribers thank you appreciate it hey please pass this on to uh, all the people that you know that camp and hike and in our preppers and uh, stuff like that and have them subscribe yeah we appreciate that too but as we always say hey Always be aware of your surroundings. Always have enough food to shelter in place or bug out if you have to. And please, prep like your life depends on it, because it really does. So, yeah, we got bubbles. We got lots of bubbles. Let's, uh, yeah, we got bubbles, we got flames. I'm not touching it, I'm not burning my hand again, but you can definitely see the flames in there. And uh, we're, actually, we're almost at a boil here. So that's, uh, that's not bad. Uh, and you're definitely going to want to keep a glove. See, the wind's kind of blowing it, so we'll put this back, and now it's redirected it back under the pot. Tin foil. Always have tin foil. Actually, it's aluminum foil, though, nowadays. All right, anyhow, that's it. We'll see you later. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.